Hey everybody, Chapa Sucos in with sports. After three days and 960 matches, hundreds filled the mats, while thousands crammed the seats. But the Schottenstein Center was packed with more than just people. Drama was all around. Your News Now's James Ryder was in Columbus and recaps another remarkable state wrestling tournament. Saturday was podium day at the state wrestling tournament and many of the wrestlers entered with high expectations. And after all the matches were done, it turned out to be a historic day. Starting with Ottawa Glandorf, the school has never had a state placer, but senior Jeff Seifker changed that with his seventh place finish in the Division III 160 pound weight class. It's great. You always want to go out with a win, especially a pin. That even that adds to it. It's just great. I thought I was going to do a lot better. Uh, seventh isn't what I wanted, but I guess I'll take it. For Shawnee, they haven't put someone on the podium since 1985. But Colin McDermott remedied that by finishing in third place. The junior was all smiles at the end of his 16-0 victory in the Division II 125-pound third place match. Over to the championship round, Patrick Henry Xavier Dye has his opponent Cody Walter slip through his fingers in the second round of the D3 160-pound title match. And in the third round, Dye can't escape and loses by a final score of one to nothing. From a match decided by one point to one decided by a single second. In the Division II 215 pound title bout, Wapakoneta's Logan Herb gets taken down in the final moment of the second tiebreaker round and he settles for second place. It's not what we wanted, it's not what Logan wanted, but uh, he wrestled uh, a good tournament. Uh, he's had an outstanding career here. He set almost every meaningful record in, in school history. Herb finishes his career with the most wins at Wapak and is the only Redskin to make it to two state championship matches. When you're a state champion and you get in the finals, there's a lot of nerves build up, like you gotta do it again, you gotta repeat. But I was unfortunate this year. While some of the area wrestlers were left disappointed, the mats are now rolled up, and for the seniors, it was their last match. But for the underclassmen, the countdown begins to next year's state wrestling tournament. In Columbus, James Ryder, Your News Now Sports.